Hello gamers from around the world, it is I, Retrodo, playing Final Fight 1 on GBA, Game Boy Advance. This is a great arcade classic. It's on many consoles, including the following games list. Arcade, Capcom Power System Changer, Mega, Amstrad, CPC, Atari ST, Commodore 64, PlayStation 2, Mega CD, also known as Sega CD America, ZX Spectrum, Super SNES, X68000, Xbox, Game Boy Advance, which I'm playing now, PlayStation Portable, and iOS. Here is an awesome fact about this game franchise. Final Fight is a side-scrolling beat-em-up video game produced by Capcom, originally released as an arcade game in 1989. It was 7th title release for the CPC, CP system hardware. Set with a fictional Metro City, the player controls one of these characters, a former pro wrestler and a mayor, Mike Hagar, his daughter, boyfriend Cody, and Cody's best friend Guy, as they set out to defeat Mad Gear and rescue Hagar's young daughter, Jessica. The game <clears throat> began development as a sequel to the original Street Fighter, released in 1987, but the, the gen was switched from a fighting game to a beat em up, and the title was changed from the following success of Double Dragon. Final Fight was ported into various home consoles such as SNES, Super, yeah, NES, Super SNES, uh, followed by its few sequels. Its development team later worked on the original Street Fighter and some of the characters from the Final Fight later appeared as playable characters in the other entries of the franchise such as Street Fighter Alpha sub-series. Uh, that's Ador, uh, the Ronaldo, Ron, Rondo, Rono, whatever his name is, the guy with the uh, staff and the grenades. He was also in the Alpha series. And yes, who else? Yeah, Cody was also in the Alpha series as well, later in the third one. Uh, yes, it's quite a good cross-reference. Uh, here's a review that IGN did back in the day. They gave an 8.5. This game was also released September 28, 2001 on the Game Boy Advance. And it's dirt cheap to buy. I'm sure you can pick easily pick this game up for six to eight pounds. It's so good, guys. You know, it, it's a great replay valuable and replay available. Great replay ability. Sorry, I try and get the words out. <laughs> yeah, it's it's got a great lasting appeal because what the great thing about this game is, guys, uh, when you beat up so many uh, Mad Gears Mad Gears people you get uh, points up and up and up and then you can unlock uh, additional extras as well in the game as well so it's really great incentive to keep playing the game over and over and over again not many companies do that because they tend to sway off easy games and then you get no rewards out of it this is what I like about this game and Capcom are awesome company they're, this, they're the same team who did Ca Mega Man Cap yeah Mega Man I nearly said Castle Bane, no, that's Konami. <laughs> Alright, shall we play? <laughs> yeah, so how this game works. Right, if you go to options, so let's make it interesting, normal. So if you go to the next next one, if I remember, that, uh, next one, select, is it? Yeah. So basically, there's a battle point system, so hopefully I'll get the next secret if I play this game. Okay, let's play. Which character should I be? Hmm, yep, guy. <laughs> uh, you know what the strange thing about this game? Uh, it did come out on the Super Nintendo when it first released, back in the day, of the old 90s. And they only included one character, and it was this character called Guy. Uh, it didn't make any sense. Why will you lit? Why? <laughs> it doesn't make sense to have a select character select screen if you only have one character playing the SNES version. Guys, if you can get hold of Sega CD version, you got the greatest get greatest port ever made because the music is outstanding. And also, there's another outstanding music track. If you can find a YouTube soundtrack. There, there was a final fight on the Mega as well, and I played that Mega version, and it was a, a big sluggish mess. Um, and what really killed it for me was 
you know, when you go to another section of the screen, you're halfway through. I know, I'm sure many of you here watching this, they, they can all agree with me. But man, the amount of disc changes to go to the next stage was absolutely ludicrous, wasn't it? I remember you put disc 1, swap disc 2, swap disc 3, 4, 5, 6, I don't know if it was like 6 discs and then you have to keep changing. And then you have to hear the loading sound going, beep, 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 beep. Oh, man, that drove me nuts. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but this is why I like the cartridges, you know, instant plug and play. <laughs> Uh, but, you know, computers had limited uh, technology back in the day. That's what I like about consoles. You put you put the cartridge in, and off you go! <laughs> and I also played this game in the arcades. Oh, back in my wee little boy days. <laughs> I did put quite a lot of money into this game. <laughs> but it's a great mindless beat-em-up, which I, I do I do like. You know, it's it's... It's a great therapeutic thing, you know, if you had a hard day at work, why not play a game of Final Fight and take your <laughs> aggression out on your bot Aggression out, and go like, oh, oh, you know, uh, I've been moving boxes all day, oh, I just need a game of Final Fight. <laughs> uh, yeah, I do like doing impressions of these. <laughs> also, guys, uh, I... I left the e eBay link in the description if you want to purchase this game as well. But I'm sure you. I mean, it just depends what version you want to get. I think personally, I like the GBA version because it's portability and you can take it out with you as well. And it's got great music, you know, great extras, <laughs> as well as a few others. <laughs> yeah. So basically, uh, you only got one special move, which is. Which is basically, you press two buttons, you do the spinning kick, Hagger does the spin punch, which is also very simple. Did you notice something, guys? Hagger is another form of Zangief. Zangief, if you like to call it. They're both very similar fighting stance. You know, they're both wrestlers. So, because uh, Capcom was making this game, thinking, you know, it should be like a one-on-one -on -one beat -em up but they decided to change it because of the popularity of Double Dragon was hitting the scene in the arcades. So that was interesting uh, history in the making. <laughs> I love things like that. You know when you um, when you do research and you find out what uh, companies uh, change the uh, aesthetics of the game mechanics and you do appreciate these companies that like to alter and change things stuff. Could you imagine getting a time machine and going back and uh, changing history, that would be really odd. I wouldn't like that at all. I like the, the way it is because <laughs> these, thing, these things happen in, in real life. It's brilliant. I love that sort of stuff. <laughs> Are you guys into gaming history? I, I love gaming history. I, I'm actually going to start buying these books from Bitmac. You know, um, I did a review on my channel. Why don't you go and check that out? It's uh, my review of the Amiga book visual compendium that's uh, really cool I'm also going to be looking to getting a SNES com compendium because I, I I'm a huge NES fan when I saw the NES on TV you know back in the old days I said to myself you know this is the most awesome product I ever seen in gra grace in front of my eyes it's the old style of the 80s you know I love the grid line as well you know and they showed a uh, what is it, Mega Man? I remember watching Games Master as well, and they showed off uh, Mega Man 2. I, I'm still going to be saving up money and getting Mega Man 2 on the NES, because that is the greatest game ever made. I'm actually I'm also thinking about thinking about another couple of top tens in, in the pipeline. I've actually done one for the Dreamcast now, so I'm pretty relieved which is great you'll see that on my channel so why not subscribe to my channel and you'll you'll get the video and also guys click on the bell icon so you can be notified because I know lots of youtubers have complained that they don't get notifications from sus from subscribers so if you like to watch my video you'll get an instant notification which is useful I suppose because that's how I get views <laughs> if you don't get views then what else <laughs> the dead dead channel. Um, yeah. 
<clears throat> so, this is cool. So, they, there's one of the characters. Ador. Yeah. He's cool. He's cool. Yeah, he was, uh, I think, I can't remember. Was he introduced at Street Fighter Alpha 2? I know he went on to 3. Uh, yes. And the character I mentioned before, obviously, you know that. Uh, yes. There were also, yeah. Because then, um, I was going to say. Hmm. Yeah, uh, I do. I do like these kind of games. You know, it's uh, it's really great how video games have uh, evolved over time. Do you remember when we used to play Pong in the old old days of the Atari? Now, this is what I like about evolution of video games. You have great companies that experimented ideas, and what is fun, and what is not. But uh, yeah, I. Uh, <laughs> Let's hope I get that other secret. I know it does this sound if you get the secret it goes like da -da, or something like that, which is great. Yeah, I'm gonna say knife, knife to meet you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do you like that knife to meet you? <laughs> yeah, I do like this subway. It's so rad. It's so rad. I'm getting beaten to pulp, <laughs> pulp fiction style. <laughs> yeah. I like when guy goes ha like that as well. <laughs> Cody, uh, I'm not a big fan of Cody. He he's like a cheap imitation of guy because uh, he does this uh, roundhouse kick as well, hurricane kick, very similar to him, but it's just lazy. I don't like it. And his punches, they look like they're just floating punches. But this is why, like guys, his punches are more, more, more impactful and dangerous. You know? Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> Go! <laughs> and also, I played the PS2 version of Final Fight. And, guys, if you want my uh, honest opinion, it's garbage. They changed the story of the uh, character. They introduced certain ca old characters in the game, but they just didn't in a way. I just got really annoyed, and and it's like mutation. You know? It's like every game version, it's always have to be mutation about everything. Why can't it be like a standard 3D game, like, you know, similar to this? But no, they they changed the, the formula, the, the style of the gameplay. I just, I really hated it. Have you guys ever played that game? If so, shout out in the comments. Uh, it's terrible. Yes. <laughs> and don't, whatever you do, guys, don't get the Mega version of this. Oh, it's a pants. <laughs> Oh no! Yeah. All right. Let's see if we can get a flying kick to his face. <laughs> no. Yes. No. Oh. Oh, I hate that movie. It does it's so cheap. <laughs> oh yeah, guys. Um, I got some. I have really awesome, super fantastic news. I've managed to find the holy grail of rarity. Uh, I found Battletoads vs. Double Dragon, the sequel from uh, the original Battletoads on the NES. I was like going, oh my god, £38, bye. <laughs> uh, apparently on my app, on my phone, the collector's app, it's uh, incomplete. It's like, sorry, the cartridge price is £52 and I can't believe I got steal. I was like, no way! It's freaking that's freaking incredible, and also I found Castellania as well. Uh, that's the little green blob uh, with legs. <laughs> uh, if if you um, ever play Castellania, how it, how the game is, you basically go around as this little dude in a castle form of a tower, and you got to jump over obstacles, shoot some enemies. The bouncing balls and all that stuff and weird, weird, wonderful creatures. Uh, yeah, fun, funny found it for complete in Chesterfield for ten pounds with, with a manual in the box. And I said, "Insta buy." <laughs> yeah, they should do like a more, ta more, you know, like someone do like a Mortal Kombat styling. Buy it, buy it now. Finish it, buy it. <laughs> all right, I might as well show you another character. Uh, I'll show you my least favourite character, Cody. 
as you can see, yeah, nah. <laughs> nah, not a fan of this character. But this is his special move. Yeah, it's lazy. I don't like it. Alright guys, that is the end of my video of Final Fight 1. If you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. As Retro says, Retro Forever! Signing out. Happy gaming, people.